What's up you guys, I'm Patrick of Coaster Fanatics and today I'm bringing you my final Steel Vengeance construction update. In my last update, the crews of Rocky Mountain Construction were installing the lift chain, the motor, and the anti-rollback device on the lift hill. Tony Clark also shared a picture of the first train arriving and being placed on the track. All the photos I'm about to share with you now were also posted by Tony Clark. Today, all three trains are in-house and on track. The first was Blackjack, of course, followed by Digger on March 28th, and finally Chess on April 11th. I'm not sure if all three have been tested or not, but you can count on all three to be ready and running on opening day. On April 13th, a couple pictures of the queue were released, and as you can tell, it isn't a whole lot different from the Mean Street queue. Looks like we will be entering pretty close to the same spot as well, except it's a little farther down and closer to the first inversion. Most recently, the main sign and entrance were revealed, and I must say it looks awesome. Arguably one of the best entrance signs in the entire park. I like the chains at the bottom as well. I wasn't expecting that and it's a real nice touch. Just like most of the coasters at Cedar Point, the entrance is split with the regular entrance on the right and fast lane on the left. It should be very interesting to see how long the lines are on opening day. Of course, the testing footage that was leaked a while back is what everyone has been raving about. Not sure who took this footage, but it really answers the questions about Steel Vengeance pacing throughout the whole ride. I know I've had doubts about the pacing in the past, but this video definitely buries that theory. This coaster is flying from start to finish, which is good news because a lot of people were worried about this, myself included. The airtime looks sick, especially through the double up going into the first inversion. The outward bank turn looks to be exceeding expectations as well. You see the train hauling ass over the airtime hill after the mid-course brake run, which is a really good sign because the third lap is where we thought this coaster would start losing pace, but it appears to still be moving pretty good when it does its final pass by the camera. Overall, this is still looking like an awesome ride and I continue to get even more excited as the days pass. That being said, this is all I have on this update. But I do want to talk about the media day contest I entered by making my fork video. For those of you who don't know, I entered a contest by describing a fork in a video for a chance to be one of 20 people to attend media day for Steel Vengeance. I ended up winning with one of the best, if not the best, fork video on YouTube. Tony Clark sent me my ticket and instructions, I took vacation time at work, and even bought SD cards to use their on-ride GoPros to film a POV. Next thing I know I get an email from Tony Clark a week later stating that I'm no longer invited since most of my POV footage on my channel was filmed without permission and violates park policy. So unfortunately you guys, I got the rug pulled out from underneath me and will not be attending media day for my channel. Now I usually keep it pretty clean on my channel but I need to let you all know how I feel about this. To be honest you guys, this whole thing is a bunch of straight up bullshit. I can guarantee you that Theme Park Review and Coaster Force have filmed without permission in the past. So for me to be singled out like this is once again a bunch of straight up bullshit and the hypocrisy is real. This media day was my attempt to do things right, to follow the rules and to do everything by the book. Tony Clark took that opportunity away from me which really sucks. I've spread the word about Steel Vengeance like no other channel and have worked really hard and spent a lot of money in the process. But does Tony care? No, he takes it all for granted and won't even reply to my emails anymore. But that's okay, because the true colors are out now. You see, I've dealt with people like this my whole working career, you guys. I used to think Tony Clark was a pretty cool guy, but at the end of the day, I found out he's just another suit and tie. Sure, park policy has been broken in the past, but if we all got judged by only our past, we wouldn't get anywhere in life. I'm not going to start a war with Tony Clark, it's just not worth it. I just wanted to let you all know why I won't be at Media Day and who to blame for it. But anyways you guys, I hope you enjoyed my final construction update for Steel Vengeance. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. Do leave your thoughts in the comment section, and if you're new around here, please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Have a good one you guys, I'll catch you all in the next video very very soon.